Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna take you into Dollar Tree with me today and see what's new. I'm actually surprised to see that they still have this print here. It's a very farmhouse chic. Okay, these are finally kind of making their way around the Dollar Trees. They took forever to get here because we didn't see them ever. This is the first time and they're a very copycat version of me and my big ideas or Mambi. Me and my big ideas, yes, Mambi. These would be a cute costume, even like a Catwoman costume or something like that. You could really dress it up. Oh my gosh, the Christmas stuff is here. All right, I'm getting sidetracked over with the Christmas stuff. I'm going to stick to my regular routine, and that is that I start on this side of the store, and then I work up and down the aisles and film what I see that's new for you guys. My son didn't get an agenda this year, so I'm taking a peek to see if there's something that would work for him. Well, I guess maybe work, work for both of us or so. I'm not sure. He is intermediate now, officially, so I'm trying to teach him how to be organized, but I'm not sure that these would be the right style. Anyways, there's some leftover things here from school. I'm sure this will all be cleared out very soon. These look like almost like little Easter notebooks. And these ones are really cute little line notebooks as well. I didn't see these before. They're made by a different company. Well, here we go. So Halloween is starting to be put out. So once you go into the seasonal aisle, some super cute Halloween costumes. Look at this, the ladybug. I remember my daughter being a ladybug her first Halloween and I spent over $40 on a costume. I so wish that I had known about Dollar Tree years and years ago. I'm not sure if they even had these gorgeous costumes, but they're so cute. Last year I used uh, this one here for a unicorn, but this one is even nicer. I used a headband just like this and the little tail and it was perfect. Oh, well, look at these new horns. I wonder what you could dress up as. Some fall items are still lingering here. I am looking for those orange foam pumpkins. Hopefully they have some. Last year I used these to make um, a really cute DIY, I guess like a jellyfish costume for my husband and it turned out perfect. I have to think of something that will light up again this year because it just works so nicely. This filler would be perfect in the clear shaker, uh, the clear ornaments from the Christmas aisle. And then you just fill it up and you have perfect little ornaments that would suit your home decor.
Oh, look at this. These are three pack now versus the two that you would see in the craft aisle. So, an aisle I don't typically film a lot for you guys is this, and I know some of you are requesting that I pay a little closer attention to the books that are out, so I will be a little bit uh, more cautious of what's out at the store. Star Wars books. That's a really great find, actually. fully stocked here with the little tumbling tower blocks which are great for DIYs. I always love to check out this aisle. So here I am going through more pens that I do not need but I always like to see what's new here. So I tested out a different pack of these and they actually are sharpening really well at home. I just won't send them to school with the kids, but there's some really cute prints. I just don't want them getting stuck in the... Oh, these are cute. They're so like, what is a kawaii? Um, like the cutesy term for... There's a style of marker. I can't even think of the name. I'm sure somebody's going to be able to tell me, but it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, if they have these here, this style of book was the same, it was in the same pile that I have the faux wood prints. So I'm wondering if I'm going to see them out again. I just used them on a DIY and I really like how it turned out. Like how you can use it with deck, like almost like a decoupage. Wow, these are new. These packages are different. Remember how they used to be all assorted, different cuts, different sizes? Now they have like a ton of the same kind, in the same cut, the same color. Wow. Which I kind of like the variety in the other pack because it would be, if you're doing arts and crafts, you kind of need like different textures and colors and stuff. So I should pay close attention because I'm at, a, I'm at another store.
I'm actually surprised that these didn't sell faster. I'm really surprised. Oh, I think these are new. I really like the blue. Very nice. And these are new as well, I think. I've never tried them, but I use um, essential oils when I'm diffusing in the house. So if anyone has tried these, let me know. I always like checking out their creams here because this pink one here is one of my favorites. But then sometimes they have new things. So, Lipidol was just out not too long ago with a bunch of their stuff out on the on the rack. So I do really enjoy this. What is it? Global Beauty product. These are some of my favorite cookies, but I'm going to not buy them because if I do, I eat them all along with these darn things, the Happy Swings, especially coconut, and they're so sweet too. Hmm. This is a really good buy. Organic couscous. And Caspa is a company that I normally see at the grocery store. I'm like obsessed with this color. I love it. It's so nice. The blue is so pretty.
I think I'm gonna buy one of these because last time I was here this was fully stocked and now there's almost none of them left. So mocha or coffee, salted caramel. I love that they have so many options for everyone. Like so many different things, different colors, I just love it. So I bought one of these tea towels and I absolutely love it. I just think it's such great quality and I think they're lovely gifts with, you know, a candle, a bottle of wine, just so good. So I'm gonna go through here and see if any of these colors speak to me. I never filmed the candy aisle and this is because I avoid going through this aisle, especially when you're hungry or something and you're walking through Dollar Tree and you think, oh, you know what, I'll grab one of those and I'll grab one of these. So I really try to avoid walking through the kind of like candy aisle just so that I'm not tempted. But I'll film it for you guys just to share because I know a lot of you have been asking me, what do you have in your candy aisle? So here's some of it and then I have chocolate bars on the, on the other side so I'll see if I can film that if it's not too busy um, because it's right next to the cashiers. Oh, these are one of my favorites. See, and I'm now tempted to buy one. Alright everyone, I'm going to say goodbye because I'm going to go head out to the cache. Until next time, I look forward to sharing my haul with you guys. Bye for now.